Mr. Dixon here again, and uh, just to kind of follow up on the previous two videos that I've uh, created just today, just to keep you up to date with what's available for you to support your child's learning at home during these uh, challenging times of lockdown. Um, just to let you know that the, the government have also ploughed an extra lot of funding into the BBC website, and in particular the bite size area. Okay, BBC Bite Size has been around for a long time. Great resources available for our children to use. Um, but again, there's a lot more being ploughed into that, a lot more content being created for daily lessons. So as you can see on the screen, I'm just in you know in my browser here. I'm just using Chrome. It works in any browser. And uh, I'm just going to search for Bite Size, BBC Bite Size in Google. Give it a click and you can see it's the first hit here, the first result here. Okay, you can see it's a home BBC Bite Size. We'll click on there. Give us a moment, it'll take us across, and you can see here quite clearly that the daily lessons are now here. All right, launch today, along with a number of other things I've been talking about in other previous videos. Um, but you can see we've got daily lessons for different age children, okay, and young people, of course. Uh, so, obviously, for us, we need to go into the primary section, you can see, and you know, lots of different kind of curriculums clearly. Uh, we're, you know, we use the England one, you know, so if actually we go into start the lesson, we can do that. All right. And you can see here, um, we can kind of dip into the relevant year group for our child or children. All right. So as an example, let's just jump into year five. Obviously, that's for children aged nine and ten. And you can see here that now they're now producing a number of different activities quite clearly dated for you to use with English, maths and other subjects as well. Lots of kind of reminders, lots of kind of interactive activities with video and animations and so on. Um, so you can see if we just jump into, you know, obviously today's English activity, understanding similes and metaphors, we can go into there. You can see it gives you the kind of focus of what, you know, the aim of the session is. We've got video content in here to watch. And obviously some explanation about what is a metaphor, what is a simile, as we scroll down, okay. And then some opportunity there to practice the activities, you know, lots of different things that they can do, as well as kind of an animation and so on. So a bit of a quiz at the end as well, all right. Great resources also available at, uh, via Twinkle, and of course Twinkle is another great site that is making their resources available uh, free of charge during this um, lockdown kind of period. And it's well worth having a look. There's lots of great stuff on there. We do use it, make use of those in school quite a lot as well. So it'd be great to kind of have that continuity at home as well as in school. All right. So there's lots of great resources in there that you can use. All right. So if we go back to daily lessons, then you can go into another year group just to give you a flavor of that. Year three as an example. And you can see there we go quite clearly the dates that these lessons are aimed for. So again, lots in there and there'll be new content being created all of the time. All right, so hopefully, again, that's something else that's useful. Uh, please excuse the plane flying overhead. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully you found this useful. And again, as always, please feel free to get in touch. If you need any support, I'll be happy to help you. Uh, so my email address is BS. D Dixon and Dixon is spelled D I X O N, so B S D Dixon at SBC Schools dot org dot UK. Okay, thank you and stay safe.